1970s London, amidst the punk rock revolution, we follow a young grifter named Estella, a clever and creative girl determined to make a name for herself with her designs. She befriends a pair of young thieves who appreciate her appetite for mischief. And together, they are able to build a life for themselves on the London streets. One day, Estella's flair for fashion catches the eye of the Baroness von Hellman, a fashion legend who is devastatingly chic and terrifyingly hot. With an Academy Award-winning cast showing us dreams are what you make of it, this is Cruella on the night at the movies. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. But I wasn't for everyone. I guess they were always scared that I'd be a psycho. <laughs> brings new opportunities. And I was ready to make a statement. How does the saying go? I am woman, hear me roar. I'm just getting started, darling. thing is, I was born brilliant, born bad, and a little bit mad. <laughs> Alrighty, looks like I get to lead this one. Um, Only this reason movie, for that is so because you want to talk about this movie. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. But I don't want to share my thoughts first. We'll give a little sneaky peeky. And instead, we're going to give it over to Chris. What did you think of this? Emma Stone, please stop acting in Disney movies. I <laughs> canceled tomato, tomato, tomato. Emma Thompson. You need to go back to Britain and start go back with Hugh Laurie, Stephen Fry, and go get your comedy chops back together. I did not like this movie. I watched this movie after Michael told me to watch it, and I was not a fan. I'm not a fan of Emma Stone. I did not like her in La La Land. I have liked her in one movie and only movie. one movie, and that is Easy A. a. And since then, I, I, I felt she was going to be the next Annie Hathaway, but Emma Stone has gotten into a rut of playing the same predictable characters. And to me, Corella was not the role for her. I don't know who should have been the person, but it should not have been Emma Stone. Uh, I know I am in the very fringe minority when I talk about this, but I was not impressed by this movie. And I know a lot of people are saying it's uh, great. She should have been nominated. She was nominated for the Golden Globes. I don't think so. I, I don't know what to say. And I, I try, I know they're making a sequel and dear God, I will have to watch that because we'll probably have to do a review on it, but sure over, will. overall, the best part of the movie, and this is not to be rude or anything was the costumes. Well, yes, that's yes. Costumes, makeup, done give it to me no understandable but i just like overall like i did not like any of the acting i'm an emma thomas fan i love emma she's done great movies i just did not find this was a strong movie for her to show her range and emma stone my it might be my 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 age is showing through but Corella deville will always be glenn close to me glenn close is amazing so when you bring Emma Stone to do a younger version, I'm like, I can't see it. I can't. And I know people are going to come at me. And if they do, I apologize. But overall, it was not a good one for me. Well, Disney's doing this thing now where they're trying to... Do live actions of everything? Well, yes, but reinvent their villains, especially the ones that are beloved. Because they want, like... Maleficent did very well. People really liked that. And so Cruella naturally 
was a nice next step. She's one that is very, is a very beloved villain. I think her, Ursula, and Maleficent are the top three. Like when you hear people say, what's your favorite Disney villain? It's one of those three. If you ask a gay man, it's only those three they're gonna pick from. Uh, apparently not Chris from the way he just rolled his eyes and scoffed at me. I, I don't, uh, I, so I will be the first to admit, I'm not a 101 Dalmatians fan. I've never been a fan of that. I oh, watched, I'm not either. I'm a uh, Cruella fan. But I watched the original Glenn Close 101 Dalmatians and I liked it because one of my favorite actors are in the movie and this was just not it for me. I, I love the costumes for this. I, I, I view this more so as like a, we are in a separate universe because she is not so I'm making coats out of Dalmatians and da 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 Like it's, that's not the journey we're on with this Cruella. I am going to live in a universe where this is an alternate reality where Cruella is an anti-hero, which normally I hate anti-heroes, but this one I think I really enjoyed. She was neither good nor bad. Uh, the fashion was fabulous. The makeup was really good. I enjoyed the story. I thought it was a good movie. It was not trying to be Oscar winning. They knew they were gonna pick up a, a, a nomination for costumes because the, the clothes were stunning. But other than that, it didn't need to try that hard. I, yeah, I, it, it wasn't for me and I might be the only one who would say that, but to each their own, to each their own. I give credit where credit's due. I just would not be, uh, this is not a movie I'm going back to on Disney Plus ever again. I watched it once and that's it. I'll probably go back to it. I'm not gonna sit there and say like it was, life-changing I need I'm gonna watch it all the time it's one that I'll probably in a few in a year or two go oh yeah I really liked watching that let me watch it maybe in preparation for the sequel to come out but it's not it's not like a clueless to me or an easy a or something where I'm watching it non-stop or like if it comes on tv I might watch it but I don't know I, I just really liked it to each their own to each their own so anyways, what is your star rating? I was waiting for that. I was like, nope, I'm not saying it, not saying it. You just wanted me to fail. <laughs> yeah, because you did the introduction in one shot and it takes me about 12. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a three. Uh, act, acting, How generous. I know. Acting, one star taken off for me right away. Um, story, diverting from the originals character one star for me production sound uh costumes makeup three stars out of five for me on that so i would give it probably four out of five stars i really liked it i thought it was very good the costumes were amazing i everyone i've spoken to i, I that hasn't seen it i'm just pushing it like you gotta go watch it the clothes are so good it's a fun fresh take on Cruella what am I the That'd minority in your people you are at the moment like for of the people who've actually seen it I'm the only one who has actually said negative things about it yeah you're the only one that's hated it that I've spoken to which I, I mean that's usually how it goes with you and I I like it you hate it and vice versa that's true that's true that's what makes this that's what makes this friendship work. You know it. <laughs> All righty. So that was Cruella at Night at the Movies with Cross Border Interviews.